Hello, Bob Duffy here from Intel with some crazy VR hair. That's because I've been in VR uh, taking a Unity 3D application I created years ago and I updated it for virtual reality. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit about that. I've written a blog post. I have a link on that blog post or of that blog post in this video. So follow that. And this video is just going to show you a little bit of the game uh, that I'm talking about in that post. So to get started, I'm going to jump into VR. And the first thing that you guys should see here is I have some controllers here. And uh, one thing I did is I labeled them left, right. Hopefully that gives you a clue of which hand they should go into. I've also put a label here, start. So that means that pull that laser, go into the start button, and I'm in my game. Uh, the controllers have now changed. Now I have a left and right button. I've got a big fire button here, and then I also have a forward trigger. So I can pull that forward trigger, and I can move forward. And in this game, there are these pods here, these blue pods. I can go race up to them, bounce off these walls, and get points. There are also some bad guys here. I just hit this fire button, and there you go. I'm firing away at bad guys. This is based on the 1980s arcade classic Omega Race. That's the idea of this. But now it's been upgraded towards a VR experience. It was pretty easy. Most all of this game code is as I originally created it. Uh, the only thing is I added the Steam VR plugin and updated uh, the key commands that I had in the game to work with these controllers, which was pretty simple and easy to do. Uh, the most interesting thing, and I say that sarcastically, was the conversion of JavaScript that I had in this original game to C Sharp. Uh, if you're not used to writing in C Sharp, that was a joy. Again, sarcastic. Um, but I, I'd say I learned a lot. One thing, one trick I will pass on to you guys is um, you, if you want to keep some of your JavaScript, you can do that by simply passing variables through the game object tag. So the game object tag allows you to give a string name for an object's tag. You can change that variable, look for the change of that variable in both C Sharp and JavaScript, and there you go. You have passed variables between C Sharp and JavaScript in Unity. Cool little trick. The other trick I learned is this is a driving type game. It's like a first person driver, space game. So what I learned is that my body would go really wonky and crazy when I was turning and flying around like this. If you're standing and you're doing this kind of stuff, your knees, your, your ankles, your hips are going to get crazy signals from your brain because what you see doesn't match what you feel. Your body is used to balancing itself as it sees things. So you don't want that experience when you're standing because you're going to fall down or get sick, one of the two. All right, two more guys here. And boom, there you go. So those are a couple of things that I learned. It's all in my blog on, on how to do things like the UI that you see here. I had to add the scripts to the controllers and all that. So enjoy that. And enjoy the crazy VR hair that you're going to get doing this. Uh, and hopefully you'll have fun upgrading your Unity 3D games to virtual reality.